Pompeii. The name alone evokes that instant of horror when Italy's Mount Vesuvius erupted in 79 AD. The volcano blanketed everything and everyone in its path. This new exhibit at Washington's National Gallery of Art brings the old Roman town back into the light. This was buried in 75 feet of ash, right? Of mud. Of mud. Boiling hot mud. The uh, finds are incredibly well preserved. And the headline, they're still finding more. The famous Pompeii in red. Pompeii in red. Italian archaeologist Leo Verone fought against time to unearth these benches and frescoes just a few years ago. They were uncovered during construction of a modern highway. The scene was one that you don't easily forget for your entire life. Archaeologists, excavators working frantically to save this uh, dining room. Proof positive for Verone that much more lies waiting to be uncovered. There were half a dozen towns near Pompeii also buried by Vesuvius. And Italy has neither the manpower nor the funds to dig them up. So for the first time, the Italian government is inviting scores of foreign students to help. Like Nanfor Matroshek, he's one of 75 uh, no, American uh, what, students who worked have? on this dig last no, year. No. It's one thing to study something in a book, like see images of it or see slides from a professor, but it's a totally different thing to see an artifact or a painting or a fresco in its context. You finally understand what it's like to be a, an ancient Roman. The Italian government is hoping this exhibit will inspire a new generation of Indiana Joneses to come find out for themselves and help bring Rome's ruins back to vibrant life. Kimberly Dozier, CBS News, Washington.